we will first make a salad, and then uh, we will uh, cook something. This is Japanese mustard for tat soy. And uh, it's very tasty. This is the, the, you know, it's almost like uh, eating celery. It's very crunchy and, and well, maybe you want to taste the leaf. Yeah, very similar. Very similar. Mustard family, so they all have a little, little uh, it's It doesn't have much heat as an Indian mushroom. It's a little more mild. But it's crunchy and green. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. So now we will chop up. Volunteer to just wash your hands and chop the spinach or up. Cut up the dandelion and a little bit of purslane <coughs> and some chickweed for the salad. Yeah, that you can use. You can, use you can tell.
Which what is this name over here? This is called chickweed. Did we buy some tomatoes? Hmm? Probably yeah. I don't know. This is already done now. Mm. Uh, this is... No, that... This one? Yeah. Last time's one. Yeah.
what to do with this is we roll, roll it like a cigar. And then cut it? So we're cutting up the kale, the collard greens. And now take some turnip greens. Now what, what else can you do with these greens? You can make a green smoothie. The way you do that is you use these green leaves with ripe banana, dates, and raisins. Can I make uh, Yeah, you can. You take some of these green leaves, especially the turnip leaves and the dandelion, and some kale. And okay, so this, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, cut it real small. If you know how to wild pig, you don't have to go to grocery. You go to Marymore Park. Any park. <laughs> also, if you want to uh, grow your own vegetables, you can come to the farm, and I'll show you how to make a growing box. And you can plant in the growing boxes. And have like a pea patch. Every culture has its own way of cooking greens. I'm sure if you start asking people, the older people, they'll tell you. Yeah. Thank you. 